How to react to a stolen kiss. A stolen kiss can refer to any kiss you weren't prepared for, whether it was an unwanted kiss from an undesirable source or a pleasant surprise kiss from your sweetheart. Regardless of the circumstances, it's important to let the person who kissed you know how you feel about the kiss. There are also actions you can take in the future to help prevent stolen kisses. Reacting to an unwanted kiss. Push away from the kiss. Before doing anything else, break out of the kiss by either pulling yourself away or pushing the other person away. Do not passively wait for the kiss to end, since the other individual involved may take this as an invitation to continue or deepen the gesture. In most situations, you should be able to pry yourself away without using much force, especially if the kiss is only a quick peck on the lips. Lightly grab the other person at the front of the shoulders and straighten your arms, using the momentum to gently back away and ease the other person away from you. If the other individual is more aggressive, a more aggressive response might be required. Start by using more force to actively push the other person away with your hands, arms. Don't be afraid to use your arms to break the other person's hold on you, or to kick the other person away if there's no other way to break contact. Create some physical distance. Once you've ended the kiss, take a few steps away from the other person to create obvious physical distance. Doing so protects you from another stolen kiss while also sending clear nonverbal clues about your feelings toward the kiss. A few steps should be all it takes if the other person has innocent intentions. If desired, you may wish to hold up your hand to further emphasize your desire for space or turn your face away to make it clear that you don't want another kiss. Of course, if the other person is aggressive, the safest thing you can do is to completely remove yourself from that individual's presence. A few steps should be all it takes if the other person has innocent intentions. If desired, you may wish to hold up your hand to further emphasize your desire for space or turn your face away to make it clear that you don't want another kiss. Of course, if the other person is aggressive, the safest thing you can do is to completely remove yourself from that individual's presence. Stay calm. Unless you're in physical danger, the best thing to do is to stay calm. Evaluate the person involved and the circumstance. It's possible that the stolen kiss is the result of a misunderstanding, in which case, a calm rejection will likely have the best outcome. If the stolen kiss is a more serious violation of personal space, staying calm will still make it easier for you to express yourself clearly and firmly. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale and hold for several seconds, then exhale over several seconds. Several repetitions of mindful breathing can help calm your nerves and clear your head. Before verbalizing your response, try to evaluate the other person's motives by taking a mental step back and looking at the situation objectively. Asking why something happened from an objective perspective may make it easier to gauge an appropriate response. If you were on a date that was going well, it's possible that your date misread you and believed the desire to kiss was mutual. If a friend kissed you without warning, it's possible that your friend has been harboring unreturned feelings of romance for you and momentarily stepped out of line. If someone you've rejected, don't know, or don't get along with steals a kiss, that person may have done so to intentionally upset or harass you. If you were on a date that was going well, it's possible that your date misread you and believed the desire to kiss was mutual. If a friend kissed you without warning, it's possible that your friend has been harboring unreturned feelings of romance for you and momentarily stepped out of line. If someone you've rejected, don't know, or don't get along with steals a kiss, that person may have done so to intentionally upset or harass you. Firmly reject the kiss. Depending on the circumstances, you may find yourself feeling bad if you have to tell someone you disliked being kissed. Nevertheless, a firm verbal rejection of the kiss is the surest way to prevent it from happening again. If you're dealing with someone who harbors unreturned feelings toward you, clearly state that you don't share those feelings and don't want this incident to happen again, I'm flattered, but I don't have romantic feelings for you and don't want to kiss you, Lee greater than if you're not ready to kiss someone you've started dating, but might be open to the idea later, clarify your position accordingly, I really like you, but I don't feel ready to kiss you at this stage of our relationship. I'll make sure you know when I'm ready, though. If you're dealing with someone who harbors unreturned feelings toward you, clearly state that you don't share those feelings and don't want this incident to happen again, I'm flattered, but I don't have romantic feelings for you and don't want to kiss you. If you're not ready to kiss someone you've started dating, but might be open to the idea later, clarify your position accordingly, I really like you, but I don't feel ready to kiss you at this stage of our relationship. I'll make sure you know when I'm ready, though. Consider offering an explanation. An explanation is never a requirement, but depending on your relationship with the other person involved, it might be worthwhile to explain why you don't want to be kissed to that individual. Be gentle yet firm, and express your thoughts and feelings as clearly as possible. If you suspect the other person kissed you out of spite or for other ignoble reasons, it might be best to skip the explanation and part ways. 
On the other hand, if you're rejecting a friend's feelings for you or explaining why you don't feel comfortable kissing your date, an explanation about why you feel the way you do might help to limit hurt feelings and prevent the situation from reoccurring. If you suspect the other person kissed you out of spite or for other ignoble reasons, it might be best to skip the explanation and part ways. On the other hand, if you're rejecting a friend's feelings for you or explaining why you don't feel comfortable kissing your date, an explanation about why you feel the way you do might help to limit hurt feelings and prevent the situation from reoccurring. Create some emotional distance, if necessary. Rejecting a kiss can sometimes result in hurt feelings, especially if it also means rejecting someone's unreturned affections. To give the other person time to heal while also underscoring your lack of desire, it might be best to spend time apart and avoid circumstances that could lead to further misunderstandings. Avoid hanging out with this person for a while, especially if other people won't be around. When you do start hanging around each other again, avoid flirtatious behavior and make sure that both sides are aware of one another's boundaries. Don't be too surprised if the other person no longer wants to spend time with you. Even if that individual respects your feelings, the pain of rejection can make it hard to continue an ongoing relationship, friendship, and letting go might be the best thing for both of you. Get help if you feel threatened or harassed. If the person who stole a kiss is aggressively persistent or threatens you in any way, seek help from an appropriate authority figure. A stolen kiss might seem innocent enough, but someone who shows a serious lack of respect for your feelings and your personal space could escalate the matter into something far more serious next time. A forced, unwanted kiss might even be considered a form of sexual harassment or sexual assault, depending on the laws of your municipality. This is especially true of the behavior continues after you make your wishes known. Don't be afraid to report the incident to the local police if you feel unsafe. A forced, unwanted kiss might even be considered a form of sexual harassment or sexual assault, depending on the laws of your municipality. This is especially true of the behavior continues after you make your wishes known. Don't be afraid to report the incident to the local police if you feel unsafe. 